What's up everybody, in this video I have another iOS 7 video for you guys and basically this one is going to be more hidden features that I've found here in iOS 7 while using it over the past couple days on my iPhone 5. So basically let's just get right into the video. First off, I actually made an individual video about this, but there are some new camera features that I want to talk about, specifically in the video camera. Um, I already talked about on the bottom here, if you can switch between all these cameras, how there is new added effects by simply clicking this button, that you can switch between those effects, which is rather cool. But another hidden feature I've found is in the video camera, and a lot of people have been waiting for this, and I did make an individual video on it. But if you haven't seen that video yet, this is what the feature is. Apple has finally added zoom in the video camera so you can zoom in while actually filming you, just by pinching like I just did. You could also, once you pinch in, could use this actual bar to zoom in and out. And it's not the best, it doesn't zoom in that far, it's only digital zoom, but they finally added zoom to the video camera as you can see, which is great news and I love it. A lot of people have been waiting for that, I know I have, and it is a great improvement to the camera and I can only see Apple building on that. So, another hidden feature to move on to is here in the iTunes Store. If you go ahead and open that on iOS 7, and you scroll to the bottom, I just don't want to show you my username, uh, you click Redeem, and as you can see here, Apple finally allows you to use a camera to actually take a picture of your gift card rather than type it in, and we'll scan on the code, and you can actually use that to submit your iTunes gift cards rather than actually using the typing in method which is a lot quicker so that's really cool I noticed that a couple days ago and I think Apple has implemented a good system here which looks very much easier than actually typing in the code itself um, also I mentioned this some of these are going to be re reiterations of my last video but I did mention this but in case you missed it a lot of people have been asking me spotlight search is actually instead of the left you scroll down on the home screen like this and that's where you have spotlight you can actually type it in it works exactly the same way um, and it is very convenient. I know it works a lot better for me and I like it up there rather than the left because I was always scrolling to it. So that is where Spotlight is in case you were wondering. That's a new hidden feature. Um, another new hidden feature that I think is actually the coolest hidden feature that I've found is if you go into brightness and wallpaper, go to choose wallpaper and scroll all the way down here, you see panoramas. You can actually set a panorama as your background or wallpaper. And I showed you guys this in the last video. Apple has actually implemented live wallpapers, so I don't know if you can tell, but the wallpaper actually moves as you move your device and it looks 3D. Well, if you set your background as a panorama, um, what you actually get is a very cool effect. So if you set both of them here as a panorama, you can actually turn your phone and as you can see, the panorama actually scrolls to the point where you can see the entire panorama on your phone simply by moving it back and forth like that. So that's very cool. I think that feature is, is nutty. That's like the coolest feature on the iPhone iOS 7 that I've seen so far. I'm going to change my background here. But that is panoramas as wallpapers, which is another hidden feature that I noticed, which is awesome. And uh, overall, there are a couple more things that Apple removed that aren't really hidden features, but I figured I'd mention them. Is a They removed voice memos. Hopefully they add that in the future. They removed the tap to tweet and tap to post in notification center, so hopefully they add that soon. And they did not add NFC, as was rumored in the rumors for iOS 7. So hopefully they add those again, but this was a quick iOS 7 review of some more hidden features I found. Hopefully those other features are added, and I will be uploading some individual videos of more hidden features that I've found in the near future. So be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for that by clicking the subscribe button and just clicking the like button. Greatly helps me out, and I really appreciate it, guys. I know you like my content, and I like your subscriptions and your views. It really helps me out and supports me, so I appreciate it. And for more content, be sure to subscribe just to my channel and be sure to follow me on Twitter, my website, my Google Plus page, my Facebook fan page, and my other vlog channel all in the description because those are great ways to stay in touch with me, guys. And I will catch you guys here in the next video on iOS 7. Enjoy.